What's up, Elemental Crew? I'm here for you. This is Dominic right there from Pick Nature. At <laughs> this time, I got it right. So, what I'm gonna show you today is pretty crazy. I, I have to admit. So, I will show you guys how to animate any divider in Elementor like this. And uh, also, not not just the dividers. <laughs> this would be too easy. I will also show you how to get started with animating uh, headings like this one mm, that goes far beyond the uh, Elementor uh, animation capabilities. So let's get started. So what we need is a section with a shape divider here. So let me jump into this tab. I'm already prepared as you know me. And so this is the famous page where I showed you the animation last time here. It's uh, still hidden. And uh, yeah, this time we have no dividers here, not, none, none at the top. So let's get started. So I'm already here at the section, so I press here on this one, right, to edit the section. This is a very important one. And um, this is the shape divider. So we have top dividers, clouds and stuff like that, but I'm interested in the bottom one. So um, basically, we have to choose a divider from here. There are a lot of a lot of them. So we have a curve. I don't know. We have waves brush. This is the one that, um, you saw earlier. Split. Ah, look. This is nice and fancy. Uh, you can get creative with that. Clouds. Yeah, we don't see any clouds here, but we have drops. I don't know waves. Yeah, that's what I showed you. Yeah. Uh, the arrow. But also the waves are pretty cool without the brush. So this one here. This looks pretty fancy too. You get this uh, nice uh, subtle uh, yeah, animation right there. That's pretty cool. I like that. So how, to, how, how do we achieve that? That's the biggest question here, right? We don't need this here actually. I mean, this is just about the Z-index. You can invert it and no problem. You can flip it. You can get crazy with it, you know, like you can you can do this, anything you want. So basically, and everything is live and you, and you see how it behaves live. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So how did I achieve that? Uh, yeah, I'm, I was pretty busy, so I had to prepare this for you guys. As always, I'm pretty busy. So let me show you. First of all, yeah, we have to choose the shape divider, of course. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And update it, okay. Now, I am using the Hello theme from Elementor, but you can use any theme and just go to the customizer if you have this and add some additional CSS. So, here is where the magic happens. And uh, let's break it down for you guys. So, I'm just gonna copy it, delete it. So, this is my uh, little notepad here. Let me just do it like that. Okay, so the first thing we need is uh, to hide the overflow X uh, on the body. So I will show you what this does in a second. And the second thing is, we need to copy this code here that I prepared for you guys. And so what, what this is, is, is basically um, the ID, the class of the shape dividers at the bottom. So you can specify, you can even leave this empty and now it will be uh, applying this animation to all shape dividers actually but um, yeah I mean it's up to you you can get very very yeah individual with that I like that so we have this uh, animation here you can ignore this this is pretty standard we don't need that actually and um, so what we see is we have this animation here and we have the keyframes, so what we did is we just uh, animated with keyframes and um, what is happening is we are setting the width to 210 pixels, uh, percent, sorry, not pixels and um, we are animating the SVG, so in terms of uh, how does this animation work it, it, it starts at 0%, margins 0 pixels on the left, which is the SVG slider and then at 50% of the time, which is uh, 11 seconds it goes up to minus 1600 pixels to the left, which means, uh, yeah, it's somewhere here on the left, you can't even see it. But, um, yeah, actually it would be, I guess, out of this room, <laughs> which would be pretty cool, if that would be possible, but yeah. So, um, and then it goes to over 100 pixels back to zero, which creates this, like, wavy animation, and also, here I specified the 
behavior, how it, how, how it uh, yeah, scrolls to the left. So this is like a Bezier animation here. You can get crazy with that. There are a lot of like predefined ones too. And um, here we specified how many times uh, yeah, it will do this sliding move, I guess. So yeah, you can only do it once. And yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty straightforward. And you can manipulate all of these here. And um, actually, I have a little trick for you guys. So let me know if you're interested. And I can, maybe I can show you something. It's pretty cool. And I can show you how to animate all of it here. So just a little sneak peek. I mean, I can't hold myself just for you guys. Actually, I have to, yeah. Actually, I have to leave the customizer for this one. And uh, let me show you what is possible. So I have this little uh, extension here in Chrome. If you guys want to know, I can I can show you. And what it does is I can click on any property here. And this is my time frame, basically, from 0 to 100%. And let's specify 50. So at 50%, I want this te text to translate to the right for, let's say, 20 pixels, like that. And I want to scale it up to... 1.4 of its size, okay, and uh, while doing it, I mean, yeah, it would be pretty cool if we we'll change the color to orange, maybe, I don't know, and yeah, that's for the background, I messed up, sorry, it's uh, right here, to orange, yeah, that's cool, right, and now let's uh, make it ease in and out, look at that, yeah, specified this text too, but that's pretty cool, right? Sometimes it's a little bit buggy. I mean, I specified the text to orange at 50% only. But yeah, I mean, it's still you know, experimental a little bit. But you get the point, right? So hit me up if you want to know more about it. I can show you even more cool stuff with it. And yeah, how to get this code here working. Because this is like the CSS I can output here. And um, yeah, we can use this to manipulate those in Elementor and make it production ready. I mean, you can go live with it. Just uh, check the browser support because not all browsers are supporting it. As you see, it's uh, bugged out now. Yeah, so thanks for watching.